welcome back to Local 4 Today. Time now, 6.38. If you're looking to pick up the newest novel from a best-selling author, then this Sunday at the Grand Island Public Library is where you'll want to be. I caught up with a Nebraska author earlier this week. Here's a look. Very pleased to be joined by Tosca Lee. She is a Nebraska author and a best-selling author at that, and she has a new book that is now out called The Long March Home. And in fact, she'll be in Grand Island this Sunday doing an event there. So thank you so much, Tosca, for joining us here this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Now, really quickly, I just have to say, you are a former Mrs. Nebraska, and our viewers know that I was just crowned. So we have this fun sisterhood that I'm really excited to yes. finally now be meeting you for. Congratulations. I'm so excited for you. I was crowned in 96, and so it's been a few years, but some things don't change. And the one thing that doesn't change is our amazing sisterhood. So welcome to the sisterhood. I'm so excited for this year for you and all the years to come. Well, thank you so much. And in your years since being crowned Mrs. Nebraska, you have gone on to do amazing things, best-selling author, and now your new book has amazing accolades already. Thank you. We've been really fortunate. It's only been out for two weeks, and we've been lucky enough to receive three starred reviews, and we were just li uh, listed in Booklist Top 10 Historical Fiction for 2023. So we're really humbled and grateful and very excited. Right. And now this novel is based on uh, World War II era. And like you said, it's historical fiction. What brought you to World War II? Why a book from that era? So this is kind of a new venture for me because I have done historical fiction, but my historical fiction is generally two to 3,000 years ago. Wow. So my co-author, Marcus Brotherton, who's probably best known for his World War II biographies and nonfiction, uh, called me up about five years ago and said he'd been working on this manuscript and what I like to come work on it with him. And he had been working on it already for seven years, and I added five years to the process. So this book is over a decade in the making between the two of us. Wow, what a what an accomplishment there. And now that it's finally in print and you've got that hard copy in your hand, I suppose it's amazing to be able to share the story and um, share this story of a brotherhood with all of your readers. Absolutely. So this, this story, while fiction about three best friends, is based and inspired on true stories. It's pieced together by survivor accounts. And it's been such an honor to have readers say to us, you know, we appreciate this because we knew somebody, my grandpa, my great uncle, the guy at church, a neighbor down the, the street. We knew people who were part of this Pacific theater, specifically in the Philippines in the Bataan Death March. And now you will be in Grand Island coming up on Sunday. And there's a couple of different things that people can enjoy. Um, kind of a discussion happening from 4 to 4.45 um, at the library. And then also you guys are doing um, kind of a dinner. Now that's for tickets from 5 to 6. So a couple of fun different ways that people can interact. They can buy a book and, and just um, enjoy your company and time. Absolutely. Please come out. I love talking about books. I love meeting readers. I love Grand Island. It's going to be great to be back. So I'm really excited. I'm sure many people are looking forward to meeting you or to seeing you again and getting one of your books in hand. So thank you so much, Tosca, and I look forward to seeing you this weekend. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And again, Tosca will be at the Grand Island Library this Sunday at 4 p.m. She'll also be at the Broken Bow Library on Monday at 6.30 p.m. Well, stick with us. We're talking about favorite places to live in your Facebook talker next.